Where are you from? <laughs> Saginaw, Michigan. Nine, eight, nine. For somebody that's not familiar with uh, Saginaw, but maybe you heard of Detroit, right. how, how close or how far away is that? Hour and 30 minutes. Big brother, little brother. Good. Do, ple- do people ever from Saginaw claim Detroit? Yeah, I don't know why they do that fraudulent shit, but yeah, man. Be proud of where you're from. Be proud of who you is and what you is, no matter what. What part of uh, Saginaw do you represent? I represent the whole city. I'm from the north side, though. Still living in Saginaw? Yes, sir. Uh, I would assume you have to uh, uh, travel to Detroit frequently? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bigger music market, more going on and shit, do you feel me like that? Like Detroit popping. These days, how frequently do you have to go back and forth? <laughs> Man, you might go to Detroit two times a day. Mm. You feel me? It's only an hour and 30 minutes away and anything, so about twice a day sometime, you feel me? So on the week, shit, you don't even, you don't even count it. Why not just live there? I love where I'm from. And then I feel like if I move... I'm going to move somewhere uh, outside, like, out, out of my whole state. I don't even want to stay. Like, I want to stay in my state, you feel me? Get a big-ass house that's bigger than any block. But, 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 like, besides that, no, I want to move somewhere, like, here to A, you feel me? Like, Texas, you feel me? Somewhere like that, Cali. Something that makes sense, something that I feel makes sense for me, you feel me, where I'm headed at in my life. Now, what was it like for you growing up in Saginaw? Can you paint that picture for us? See, man, and, and, and then it's crazy because it go back to the music. You feel me? Like, I, I actually, growing up in Saginaw, for me, I had, I lived two lives. You feel me? Like, my mama was po, My pops was, the, like, the man, man. Like, my pops was the man where, I, where I'm from. Still is. And my mama, them, they ain't had shit. You feel me? So, but I grew up in my mama's house. Uh, so, five days a week, I'm broke. You hooping on the crate, you feel me? How I go get it, how to see. The weekend, shit, we got bikes, double dutches, trampolines, swings, every video game you could think of, you feel me? So I, I lived two different lives. So it was just like I was two people my whole life. You feel me? Mm. Now, uh, would you consider it a rough upbringing? Uh, if you just had the poverty part, maybe so, but because you experienced both, uh, money on one side of the family and no money on the other. Overall speaking, would you consider your upbringing rough? In the early stages, yeah. But my mama a bad motherfucker. She got on her shit. You feel me? So as I got older, life started changing. But I took I took myself to the streets. But growing up, yeah, we was we was in the middle of the shit, in the heat of the shit, drive by shootings like as close as me and you is grown man. I'm this big, yeah. That was normal, that's that's regular. You feel me, like kids getting caught up in the trains, limbs getting chopped off right in front of you, that's regular, you feel me? Like that's that's what, we, that's what we grew up at, you feel me? Violent, you feel me? Like that, it goes down. I just I just uh, just got news that I lost a cousin today. Uh, he just got killed by his girl. He mm-hmm. didn't wanna be with her. Sorry, and that's yeah. how my, you feel me? That's how my city is though. You feel me, that, but. It's just shit, big ass negative city. Like right now, the crime rate, uh, Detroit fucked up. The whole world know that. They like number seven, sagging on number four. You feel me? Like we fucked up for real. You feel me? Like ain't no, ain't no hope in that bitch. And then niggas like me, you feel me? I'ma get a ass. So. When you give these. Uh, th- uh statistics are are we talking about nationwide or are we talking about statewide these statistics nationwide philly don't was on there everybody was on that shit yeah you know? flint was like number eight or something yeah second on number four any uh solution to this problem to turn this negative uh energy you described into positive maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but maybe in the future I mean, just you living in the city, breathing in the city, being around the city, being outside of the city, yeah. going to other cities like a Detroit, yeah. even though they're number seven and Saginaw's number four, I mean, there may be some things over there. You're like, wow, I wish this would go on in my city. So mm-hmm. are there, is there a solution to what you see 
going on moving in the future? Or is it just going to get worse from this point? No. If our people start helping our people and get behind our people, we straight. But so be, before that Black Panther movie proved that, I always saw that. We, we the poorest on the whole totem pole, but the highest spender, how is that? That doesn't make sense. I mean, if we directing our dollar in the wrong area, if our community is the most broken, but we the biggest spenders. The big spenders to me riding around in Bentleys and mansions. You mean to tell me the big spender is really this girl who ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of, but got this weave and nails and so you feel me? It's just, and what are we going about that? And then every weekend, what we go turn up at? Well, I go get my Rillos from at the store right now, from an A-Rap or something, from a Korean, from, you feel me, from somebody that's not who I am. But at the same time, could I go work behind their counter? Fuck no. They keep family in there. They taught us that. They got their community how it supposed to be. You feel me? If, 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 and you know what's crazy? And Detroit got some little shit going on between amongst themselves, but they was a good example of if motherfuckers come together, you can do it. You can make it. You can make your own everything you want. <laughs> you can get that shit right now. You can make it happen for you. You feel me? And then, like, with the couple people you got around, you look to your right or left, man, you got kings and queens right there. We just don't utilize that shit and put it in and in, in direct that energy right. You feel me? We get behind our people, man. Because I'm going to tell you something about black people. When they got money, they usually ain't beefing. Niggas always who beefing and arguing into it, them niggas going through something financially. Or a female or something, but usually it's money. If, if, if you put some money around a black community, open up a job, shit, I don't give a fuck if it's sweeping flows or something, helping out kids. Any, you feel me? Like, that, that's gonna, that, that'll change people. Money. Now, you dealing with uh, this uh, rough upbringing early on, like you had mentioned, what was the, uh, the bottom point of that, uh, that roughness? What was, I mean, drive-by shootings, uh, limbs getting chopped off by the train, these sound pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if that was the bottom point or if there even was worse than that. But if there was something worse than that, what do you think your bottom point was growing in that rough upbringing early on? I think something worse than that was watching my family split up. How they did. How old were you? We growed up, like, I growed up, shit, 13 people in one crib, you feel me? <laughs> on, the, on the east side of Saginaw, like, Real deal, like we cramped in five little niggas in one bed, head and foot. You feel oh, like wow, that's how you feel me. So we come from, I come from that, and then to watch, you know, uh, men come into the picture. You feel me? And then now growing up, you see that's how shit supposed to be. But back then, you feel me? It was a house full of women. Then all of us little niggas around that bitch, little bad little kids and shit. We do what the fuck we want to do. Burn down the band of houses, steal dogs. We you feel we do what we want to do. Niggas come, shit, it's order, <laughs> chaos, you feel me? So I think it was just watching my family, everybody such and such move to this state, such and such move here, move there, and then you just feeling like shit. You know, you got, I got me and then this other half of family type shit who I don't really know, you feel me? But if that, you know, if that qualifies a low, because the beef don't really, that, that's a part of life. You feel me? You said uh, your family split, so uh, yeah. how old were you when that happened? Mm. About almost 10, probably about 9. About 9, 10. How did that affect you? I ain't like it. You feel me? Then it's like people in my family, like, you know, went to the to the negative side. People got, you know, strung out on drugs, bad. Like it, it had it had so many effects on my family and then I was a little little kid, but like I it was like I was grown even when I was little, you feel me? Like I was always observing and watching everybody and watching shit and paying attention to shit and everything. So it just like I, I just I just saw I just saw how shit sunk when your when your family get divided and shit. We're talking mom and dad splitting up? No, my mom and dad were never together before my eyes. Okay, so we're just talking about the family as a whole. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about. I'm ta yeah, I'm talking about like a real deal tight knit family, like a, a, a like 
my mama, her sisters, my grandma, you feel me? Uh, whoever my grandma friend is, the nanny, you feel me? We call her gummy bear, you feel me? Shit like that, you feel me? I'm talking about that, you feel me? Like, and it's 10 of us little kids. That's what I'm talking about, you feel me? That's what I'm talking about, like that. That was, that's what I thought family was. Why would the split? Shit, everybody started getting boyfriends. Oh. And, and, and not just boyfriends, everybody started getting husbands, niggas to stick around. You feel me? So that's why I said it was for the good cause or the better cause. It's just that back then I didn't understand. I see. What did this teach you? I can do this shit by myself. Whatever it is. Now, uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, you were involved in street activity. A little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. How young were you when that started? A little young, I uh, I was around it, like I was around it probably four, five, like six, seven, all like around it like that. Like I was around it heavy then, but me getting into it was probably about 11. I think 11, I was smoking weed, selling weed. 12, I had already, I had bought my first pistol, selling weed and shit, you feel me? Like I was ready to shoot anything, anything. I had a little deuce, deuce revolver, I put that bitch on anything, you feel me? And upgraded 32, 38 and shit, you feel me? Just could, just in the revolver era, you feel me? I was trapped in that bitch, but I was a young nigga and I, uh, and I just, I think, and then, but, and, and I had some changes during that time where I had, where I had quit fucking around then. I had got a little girlfriend out of 15, 16 and shit. And then, but like 16, I had turned up, like the end of my 16s, I had turned up like something so crazy. Like I had took over my streets where I come from. And they all gonna see this interview. Ain't no nigga gonna deny that. Like I took that bitch over, you feel me? Me and my little section, me and my squad, like we, I had a point in time where I did, I did play that game. You feel me, where I did, I did play them roles. Like, like all the way. Now, you sound like after the split, this is when you got involved in the streets. Borderline, borderline. Cause you were around it, right. but you didn't step in it until, cause you said the family split about nine, 10 years old. Yeah. Then you got into it. Yeah. About eleven years old. Yeah. Started smoking. Then yeah. started dealing. Yeah. Smoked first. Then you dealt. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people will deal. Will first deal and first, and then, and then they smoke. Yeah. Nope. Nope. And then what's crazy is after I started dealing, I quit smoking. So I was the dealer, that the sober head nigga. You feel me? Just. Yeah. Why get into dealing for you? Was uh, were you influenced? Were you peer pressured? Was it greed? Was it curiosity? What was the reasoning there to enter into street activity? Damn, you just hit me with some shit. Cause I did not have to hustle like that. Like my pops had stoves and shit. I did not have to do that shit. <laughs> you feel me? Like I ain't have to do that, man. Like, uh, I think it was greed. I wanted the money. And I knew how to make it. I know how to make money. So I just, I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was. But you did stop the street activity to some degree when you got the girlfriend. Yeah. But yeah. then you went back to it. Yeah. Why? Did you break up with the girlfriend? You missed the money? Well, no, let me let me let me rephrase street activity. I ain't never quit hustling. You feel me? Like I when I say street activity, I mean like Pistols, beefing, like uh. two or fighting, like when on site when I see you, it's going like I like I'm I'm airing your ass off at church, I'm airing your ass off at the gas station, at the mall. We you feel we can get into it at the like you feel like like that. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that that I had I had I had was in and out of that shit. You feel me? I won I won I won really just sticking sticking hard on that. When I was in it, like I was I was heavy in it. Like I'm shit, I'm trying to do like ten flights, twenty flights in a day. Niggas do a, a five flights in their lifetime. I'm doing like I'm trying to do twenty in a day. You feel me? Like I'm on you on a madman mission. We ain't coming home. You feel me? So it was like that for a little minute, but 
So I guess I'm one of the, I got one of them uh, addictive personalities type shit. When I do something, I do it hard, and even if it's short time and shit, like I'm I'm hard on that shit. So, so just uh, curious, what caused you to you, you get the girlfriend, you calm down, but mm -hmm. then it re-energizes? I think it was. See, I had I had I had people around me that was like that's when it's like a, a whole lot of mixed shit. I had people around me involved in the church too. You feel me? And I think it was just watching the flaws. Like we can go to church on Sunday and play this role, but then on the weekend, this the gambling house. You feel me? Like like last night we y'all just had a whole dice game and you feel me in the living room and I we waking up Sunday morning, this church music downstairs <laughs> playing. You feel get your ass up, get your suit and towel. You feel me? so it was it was that situation growing up and I think just as I got older and started to see it and then the people in the church too, they little bored and I'm like, man, why not be who I am and what I wanna be and what I really do with my friends when I ain't at home anyway, you feel why I keep missing the street lights and getting my ass in trouble anyway. You feel it's like so it, it was that situation. Like just watching the fraudulent being around me, it was like the streets had they they kind of they kind of showed me love, but they didn't really show me love. I had I had got it confused with how they fuck with me on my grind and my hustle. I'm, I'm an avenue that they can't access, so they tap they use that which you pose to. You feel me? And I and I misconstrued that shit with love, so I just jumped into the streets thinking it was something to hold me. You feel me? Now, what about school? What kind yeah. of kid were you in class? I was I was the one the teacher like I was I was the kid who like in front of the teacher like she gonna love me I'm I'm good all that but the students know lunchtime recess at the school bro I'm gonna beat the like so if the teacher lead the class you feel it was, so it was one of the, I'm 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 that little sneak like you feel like I'm that motherfucker like cause I don't want no trouble with them that's the authority that's the sister you feel that's that's the teacher teach you teach you do your damn job i'm doing mine you feel me this nigga cutting up on the side of me type shit i'm gonna have to him you ain't even got to know nothing about this so it was like the teachers love me principals love me like i kicked a lot of ass during the school high school year uh middle school year definitely middle school high school that shit just went fame less like around my little town and shit but and but i ain't never really get that 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 punishment punishment because of how they fuck with me you feel me i even got a motherfucker even uh told on me that i had a gun in my locker at school uh ninth grade year and they searched that bitch and they ain't find it and then they uh called me down i ain't thinking nothing of it get down there they hand my ass up three bullets in my back pocket and a knife in my pocket you feel me they like yeah yeah we got you we want the gun and you going to juvie you feel me so yeah, shit like that. Why so much fighting growing up in school? Were you the aggressor? Were you the defender? I was, I was, I want the aggressor. I used to kick a lot of bullies ass and I used to, I used to, I used to be the, I used to be the little nigga too. Like I'd be in my own world doing my own thing. Like a lot of times too, like, like, like I told you, we was poor growing up. So in a lot of situations, I was the new kid. You feel me? So we moved around a lot. And then I got put out of certain schools and shit. Like one school, I bit my teacher, drew blood and shit. She wanted to sue my mom and all that shit. I had to switch school. Or least to least, or not least to least, but rent to rent. You feel me? Shit, we just switching houses, switching schools, switching houses, switching schools type shit. So I always found myself being the new kid who the girls was into, the niggas want to figure out type shit. And then I'm not just no, oh, I ain't no rah rah tough ass nigga. Like I ain't, I ain't on that. You feel me? Like I, I mean, we can all love peace and chicken grease around this motherfucker. You feel me? Like when it's time for that real shit, then it's time for that. We ain't even got to talk about that. Like you feel me? Like I'm, 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 I'm that. And uh, just shit. I actually damn near forgot what the, what the, what the fuck you put the. Oh, I was asking asked. why so many, so much oh, fights. fights. Yeah. But yeah, niggas and niggas, they try you. You feel me? Like growing up, don't nobody know you. They try you so. I, I, I whooped a lot of ass. And then what's crazy is, as I got older, though, I guess I just developed a demeanor to motherfuckers. Motherfuckers just quit trying me. Like, just peers, just like, 
Let that nigga do what he gonna do. <laughs> like you feel like motherfuckers just quit. But growing up though, like motherfuckers, well, I got tried shit. So I had to, you know, prove prove myself a little bit. Um, how many schools do you think you attended? Total? Yeah. Shit, down to every school in my county. If I was actually probably, uh, bro, I probably went to about three or four high schools, about five, six middle schools, some shit about, probably about the same middle schools, and probably about, literally about five, six elementaries or something. I know growing up, and it comes to making friends and losing friends, you know, typically a kid, if they can have it their way, they want to go to elementary school, and they want to be with the same friends and people they grew up with to middle school, and mm -hmm. they want to be with the same people in middle school into high school. Mm -hmm. They don't want to break away from that. That can be very traumatic for a kid. Let's say elementary, middle, and then middle of your high school year, you got to go to a different school. <laughs> that can be very school. traumatic for yeah. somebody Yeah, that, uh, that's growing up and doesn't know any better, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. how were you able to deal with losing friends, having friends, meeting new friends? I mean, obviously you got into a lot of fights, but did do you care about stuff like this or not a big no, deal? No, and what's crazy is, no, I, I was that, I, I had to be that nigga who stood in front of the class uncomfortable so many times. Class, this is such and such, you feel me? And kids snickering and all that, and you wondering what they think about it, who said what or what, you feel me? Or you feel you looking, checking to see who in this mug. If you do know some, hoping you know somebody you never do in that bitch. And at one time you do like, it was just like I had got used to being that that kid that everybody knew but nobody got to know. You feel me? So it was just, just that situation. Let's say somebody's watching this and maybe they haven't moved as many times as you have. But let's just say kids watching this. Uh, maybe around the same age and has to do some moving. Um, mm. Maybe even their first move. Uh, any advice, and circumstances could be different for everybody watching this, but any advice to a kid that has to transfer schools, move to a new school, that sort of thing? Could be even be their first time. Um, yeah. Uh, any advice there to that person? Don't be in fear about the situation. Don't, don't little negative parasites that jump into your head telling you all of the negative and bad, even the worst shit that could happen all the way down to you shitting on yourself in front of everybody. Like, that embarrassing. Don't, that ain't gonna happen. You feel me? Like, don't, don't, don't pay attention to that shit. Like, just you, you, people gonna, people gonna, who, who, who meant for you or who meant to fuck with you gonna fuck with you anyway. And who ain't, ain't. That's just what it is. So no matter where you at, just be you and do you. And people who, who whoever the most high got for you or whoever the, the powers that be got for you, then they gonna be with you. They gonna be in your corner. They gonna find you. You gonna find them. And you're gonna find that energy no matter where you go. And some of you feel me? So don't just don't be scared, you feel me? Just, just do your just do what you gotta do, whatever life takes you to. That's the better your story gonna be, your journey. Did you rap in school? No, nah, not really, no. Nah. I, I I beat on the desk, you feel me? I did that with the pencils and all that for my homeboy to rap and everything. I did that. But you never did it yourself. No, nah, not really, no, nah. hell no, nah. no. Nah. So didn't get into any like rap battles with anybody? Uh. <laughs> I tried to in the county when I was locked up. <laughs> you feel I tried to, uh, and, and, and I got a brother that rap, and he, 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 been, he been nice with the shit. And, uh, and, he, and he got a little clout and shit, dollars and shit. And, uh, like he put me on a song and shit like that, and then he put me on a hook, and then I had another brother. We was doing a little church thing. Uh, he was on a gospel rap thing, and I tried that, like the music. I tried to uh, do a couple little hooks and everything with him, and I'm like, I ain't no rapper, man. I don't rap, you feel? Me? But every time I got on some niggas, would be like, bro, like listen to this shit, bro. Like, bro, like, bro, you can rap, nigga. Like, bro, you can rap. I'm like, man, I ain't no rapper, nigga. I can't rap. Like, nigga, like, dog, you be talking that shit. Like, bro, you make niggas want to hear what you, like, you feel like, bro, niggas be feel like, and I said, shit, I'm finna do this shit. But it wasn't during school. Mm -mm. Hell, uh, school, I was on some other shit. School, I was definitely, like, high school shit. It was, it was gang. It was gang shit. It was, it was, it was 
shit, fights and girls and shit. Just getting fly. Shit, getting, going to going, you feel me? Getting fly. And then if you got your girl, y'all matching, shitting on everybody, trying to win best couple type shit. Or you feel me? Like uh, the car game was crazy. Like we was into whips too a little bit. You feel me? Like so if you pull up in the old school where I'm from, you feel like niggas went on that. Niggas was on on that. Like nigga, you got you got a regal, you got a colors, you got a money, nigga. You got you feel me? that bitch on. Uh, it was twenties and shit. Did you feel me? <laughs> so shit like seventeens, eighteens, like shit like that, like that. That's what we was on back then. Did you graduate? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Sometimes uh, when I do these types of interviews, and you have somebody. Uh, involved in street activity, hustling, that sort of thing while they're in school and you were one foot in, one foot out, right. as you described earlier. Sometimes they quit, they yeah. drop out. Yeah. They see no purpose for finishing up. Yeah. Uh, I've done interviews where people quit 12th grade and it's like one year left, uh, yeah. 11th grade. Uh, some people do it a little earlier. They stop right at the beginning as a freshman in high school and they kind of just do the street thing. Yeah. Why didn't you veer off two feet into the streets and uh, continue to stay finishing your uh, your high school and graduating? My, uh, a couple reasons, and it's crazy, it's the people that birthed me. Uh, my mama ain't never really asked me for shit. She loved me unconditionally, you feel me? Like, so she wanted that. And ninth grade, shit, you supposed to have six credits. I had 2.5 at the end of that bit. All she ever wanted me to do was graduate. Like she, that's what she wanted. Like you feel me? She ain't never asked me for shit before. I can, I could think of, she asked me to graduate. Like so, that was big to her. And then uh, I told her I'm gonna do it for you. I enrolled in summer school off off rip. I told my pops I had, uh, ran. I had seen him. Uh, I went and talked to him probably about a week or two after that shit. And I told him like I'm gonna graduate. That nigga was like, I believe it when I see it. So from then on, it was like I had a, had a no matter what I did in the streets, I had, nigga, I, I, it's 20 niggas in my house. They ain't waking up to three o'clock. I'm up, I'm on my way to school. They come pick me up in my mama car or whatever at the school, you feel my niggas, I'm going to school. I'm up 6.30, 7 in the morning. I don't give a fuck if I got to smoke, even sip something. So I'm, I'm up, I'm going to school, I'm fit to bust these books. I'm in class, I'm really there. Like I ain't skipping, none of that shit. I took summer school every year, extra credit, all that shit. You want me to graduate? I'm going to graduate. And since he said that, I'm fit to do it on time. I graduated on time. Real shit, made up all them credits and everything. And still was in the street. What was your mom's reaction? What was your dad's final reaction? Man, I ain't never seen that nigga more proud. He feel, I ain't never seen her more happy. Besides shit, when I had, uh, I had bought this Rage Rover and shit, but you remember me about, oh, 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 nah, I was about, when I did that, I shit it on my whole city, so you feel me? So she, besides that, like, I ain't never seen her, like she, like, like motherfuckers could have went to heaven that day type shit. Like it was one of them. Like man, man, my niggas ain't even throwing up gang signs. They in the picture throwing up peace signs. Like yeah, you feel me? like it's it's love. You feel like ain't no beef. And we we all on the grass and after the after the after the uh, venue the civilized shit. We man, man, it was just man, all on top of the car, all outside of the trucks. It was man, what? Cause it was another street nigga that had graduated with me. Uh, from from where I'm from, bald head and shit. But yeah, it was man, and so it was just, it, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it was it was worth it. All that shit I went through, the the summer school shit, all that bullshit, all that, getting up, missing some of the fun niggas having, missing the sleep, it was all worth it. 